Hi, my name is Ellie. Welcome to my channel. This is Planning and Finances. And on my channel, I talk about everything to do with personal finances, how to get out of debt and how to make the most out of your income. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified with every new video that comes out. So on to today's video. Today, I'm going to talk about our August budget. I'm going to run through our numbers of all our expenses for the month of August. So to put it into some context on our expenses, um, I'll tell you a little bit about ourselves. We are a four person household. So there is myself and my husband and my two girls. One is four and one is nearly seven. Um, myself and my husband are both full-time employees. There's two incomes into the household. We have a three-bedroom house in Dublin, just in the suburbs, and there is a mortgage on our house currently at the moment. And we do updates on Instagram as we're paying down the mortgage, as we are actively making overpayments there. So I'm going to jump into the budget and show you what we have here. So here we have starting off with some income. We have children's allowance. So in Ireland, you get 140 euro for every child that you have. So we have 280. We also have something called mortgage tax relief, which is like interest relief. This is technically gone now. You can't get this anymore, but we're on our last payments by that. So it's down to only 1787. Here I have budget and I'm not actually going to share myself and my husband's income as we're both in full-time employment and we do respect our jobs. So, but what I'm going to do is I am going to show you what our budget for our expenditure for the month is. So our budget for the month is kind of high this month actually because we have a few things going on, but it's 3,700. So we'll get into our fixed expenses. So our fixed expenses, number one is the big one is the mortgage and it's 1245.16 this month. Our mortgage payment is 1045 and we overpay it by 200 every month. And we've sent that into the bank. So that just happens automatically. We then have our Virgin Media. Our Virgin Media is our TV, our landline phone and our internet. And that comes to 65.50. This is quite low for a package like that, but um, we have a concession with them because we do have one of their boxes on our wall of our house. Then we have Netflix, which is 11.99. Iberol Electric, this is zero this month. Um, local property tax is 28.66. I pay this monthly and some people might think why well, don't I pay yearly because I do pay everything else yearly like my ins car insurance and house insurance and that but I pay this monthly by direct debit because there is no difference in the price whether you pay monthly or yearly so technically I'd be only saving it in an account to make a payment at the end of the year so paying it by direct debit makes sense and I'm actually thinking I'm going to start my tv license like that as well gas for the month that I've gotten the bill already and it's 12844. I know this will differ from the figures that I've given on Instagram. The figures that I've given on Instagram is our actual meter reading for one month. This is my gas bill for like two months but it's also estimated reading so there will be differences there but that's what my bill is. Um, my alarm company is 2508. We have a monitored alarm on the house. And our mortgage protection is 3288. This is like an insurance on our mortgage and also like a life insurance policy. If that happens to myself or my husband, the house will be cleared. Mobile phones is 40 euro. <coughs> Me and my husband are both on the tree network and we just pay 20 euro a month pay as you go. We don't have bills at all. So that's our fixed expenses. So if you can see like our fixed expenses already comes to 1587. So now we are moving on to food. So for food, we're budgeting 450 this month. It's a little higher than usual. We try to keep it to 100 euro a week, but we're hoping to get a bit of sun and there might be some barbecues and that coming out. So it would be nice to have a little extra money there set aside for if we want to get some nice food for a barbecue. Our petrol, I'm gonna put down as 90 euro. 
my husband is currently back in work so he has been driving the car more i'm still off so my car basically still isn't moving at all we don't have any planned trips outside of that so hopefully that'll cover miscellaneous i'm not going to put anything in this month because there's a few things in other accounts so our bins i'm going to put in 25 euro so dentist doctor in school um i'm going to put in 200 and this is covering my daughter's school books which i still have to get i am so not on top of that and shoes i did get her a pair of shoes and they don't fit they're hurting her feet in the width and i think someone says i'm gonna have to go to clerks so that'll cost me a bit so i put 200 in there gifts i have 75 it's my brother's birthday this month it's also my daughter's birthday but we have a sinking fund for her birthday so i don't have to include her there so our variable expenses then is coming to 840 euro it's slowly adding up here isn't it it adds up so quickly um so personal expenses krishna is getting 50 that's my husband and myself Yes, I'm getting 319 euro. This is though, I am getting a desk for my office. I am currently working from home and it's going to be for the foreseeable future. We're not sure exactly when we're getting back into work. Um, and I also have like crafting and planning and stuff like that, that I like to do at home. So it would be nice to have a proper space, a comfortable space. So I've been waiting it out for a while and I'm going to buy it this month now. So family days and eating out, I have 30 euro. We haven't been going out much at all. We don't eat out at all and we don't really do takeaways at all either. So 30 euro should be enough for us. Clothes, I'm gonna put down 100 euro. My daughter, my oldest daughter really needs some kind of like t-shirts, summer t-shirts and that. And I went shopping there last month and there wasn't very much stock in the shops. So I'm hoping there'll be a bit more when I go out this month. My youngest daughter is completely sorted because she has all my older daughter's clothes. Um, so that's 500 euro, you could say, on leisure. Um, but in all honesty, this 50 euro, he doesn't really spend money. So it could be left sitting there. Um, so next up is our emergency fund. So we budget to put 300 into our emergency fund every month. And then our sinking funds, 480 euro. This isn't the total amount that goes into our sinking funds. I have it down to 480 euro. And these are my compulsory, compulsory, there we go, sinking funds. And what that means is that this has to be budgeted in because these are for yearly payments that we have to make in any way. So, I have explained it in more detail in my sinking funds video. So I will leave a link to that video uh, in the cards there. So the total for savings comes to 780 euros. So my difference is 671 euro. So let's see if we can zoom it out there. So, oh, is that too small? Maybe gone too far. So 3,700 is the budget and it's not too bad considering 780 euro out of it is savings and as i said that's not our full income so the balance of our income is what we actually put away to savings before we work out our budget so we would have an amount mainly our kind of financial goals at the moment are some house renovations putting towards the emergency fund and soon probably saving for a new car as well so that is our expenses for the month of august thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join us next month when we actually reconcile this and see how much we actually spent against our budget take care see you next time bye